All right, guys, they're playing Jax top lane once again in split two. This game, we're playing Jax versus a Rumble top lane. Actually, a very hard matchup. For the runes, we got Conquer this game. We got Triumph, Alacrity, Last End. We got second wins in combo with Dawn Shield, and then also running the Overgrowth. So today, we have a very hard matchup. The uh, the Rumble top matchup is very difficult to play out for a lot of top laners. Like, Rumble is designed in a way where he's supposed to win early. So this will be a fun one. I'm very confident though. Like Jax in this matchup is super nice because I can basically jump into rubble any second I want. So it's very different from usual. Like if you run a champion that can jump, you have to run into rumble, which is just really bad for you. Ooh, he was like positioned on the right side so it didn't connect. Oh, he's trying to get to level two. Okay. Not bad. I'm outside range. I'm not going to queue forward. Queuing forward right there would be kind of troll. I'd be taking damage for free. You got guts. That's one. Decent kiting. He's going to queue me down. Yeah. That's the hard part about the matchup, really. That's the hard part. Fortunately, this game, I have the second win, Dorn Shield combo. So, I'm consistently healing back if he tries to queue me down. So this, this lane is going to be very easy for me. Probably go back here. Let's go for the... I'll take a longsword. Alright, so let's see if we can take him down right here. This is the opportunity. Of course, I was kind of hoping that I could kill the Rumble easily, like before we reached the 3 minute mark, because he actually messed up a couple times, but he actually happened to live. Fortunately, we are late for backing, but this wave will arrive before I do myself, so this wave will get stuck up around here. He's about 60%, he's got TP, I have Longsword. Let's see if we can fight him. Nice, he's dead. I've already got him. Dude, do I really have to flash? Okay, nice. So I basically won that stuff because I had the uh, longsword already. And uh, on top of that, I had to reset first. And he was running teleport. I was running ignite. He had 60% HP. I had about full. So even though he might have... I don't think... I didn't check if he had level advantage, but who cares? That was an easy kill for me. But I was level 3 or 4, it didn't matter. I think he was level... Yeah, he was level 4. I was level 3, I think. Okay, let's hold. He's not teleporting back. He's actually walking back. So that means he's going to have a TP advantage. Something to remember. He apparently went for tier 1 boots. I've got Echo running top. So I'm not going to jump in before Echo. I'm actually going to wait for Echo to arrive. And then we go in. Nice. Very good. If you paid attention to that 1v2 right there, or well, the 2v1 actually, you notice that I positioned on the right side constantly when I was chasing down. That's because I knew that Rumble had flash. So if I position on the right side, it becomes more reachable for me when he does flash. Let's see if we can push. So the only thing we gotta do right now is find a way to reset because we have we we've got no mana anymore. We've got very little HP. We actually do have Echo coming to back top lane, so maybe we can beat him. I find it to be very unlikely because he just plays the war down. Yeah. Yeah, I just did. I'll just ask my jungle if he can take the uh, take the wave from me. Just allow me to. All I have to do is buy more items and then come back stronger. Nice. And let's walk away. Cool. Okay, so first things first. What we are buying this game. This is the most important part. We can go uh, in multiple different directions. But what I'm going to do this game is we are going for Blade. Now there's a couple things I want to mention about Blade. Um, when you buy... Blade of the Rune King. A lot of people have uh, noticed that, like, if you buy it, 
you have a weakness, right? You have insane 1v1 potential, by the way. If you buy Blade, you can 1v1 almost anybody, but it comes with a cost. And that's that, like, any champion could also all in you instead. If you make a mistake, you could get caught, you could die for it way, easy, uh, way more easily. So if you go Blades, it's a super nice snowball item. Just be aware that you're going to have to play flawlessly. You don't, you shouldn't be making mistakes too much. So in my opinion, one of the best items you can buy on Jax. Definitely. Think you can beat me? See if I can hold it. I think he's resetting, so... Right. Yeah, he's resetting. Oh, he <laughs> he canceled the, the ward, I guess. No, he didn't cancel it, he just expired. Okay. We're gonna be slow pushing the wave. When that rumble comes back, we're going to be looking for like an instant all-in. He has no ultimate. I'm getting blocked, by the way. Alright. Whatever. When he comes back, I'm going to all-in instant. Because he actually just used the ultimate before resetting. Which means I think it's probably still down. So if we're lucky here, we might get a really solid jump without him having the ultimate. An enemy has been slain. Hmm. Seems like Rumble is very smart and he doesn't allow me to jump on him that easily. Okay. I kind of didn't want to use my flash, but hey, whatever, I guess. If that's what it takes to turn the lane around, I'll take it. Very nice. So I'll, I'll get at least like uh, one plate. Maybe two. Yeah, time to go back. And let's go for pickaxe. Nice. Also terrible brutes. Okay, yeah. Yo, man, this, this lane is already over, in my opinion. We are 3-0. and zero. The only way for us to lose lane is to get ganked by Nocturne and... Well, getting wrecked by a Nocturne, basically. There's no way of me losing this 1v1 anymore. We are level 8, he's level 7. And I nearly have Blade already. Our advantage is pretty insane at the moment. Hold on. I want to try and freeze the wave, but the wave is completely in the wrong spot where I want it to be. See if we can push this. Maybe he's rotating? Nah, I can't. I, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think it is. No. He could be going for a reset. I'm going to slow push this wave because I'm not entirely sure what he's up to. Oh, he's apparently still waiting in the bush. That's an Astro ultimate. What? Oh. It's not the way how I actually expected to die. That Nocturne ultimate was the most random ultimate ever, bro. Not entirely sure if I can live. <laughs> he must be very tilted right now. The Nocturne gank failed and he also ints like under tower. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I would call that to be a mistake by Nocturne himself, by the way. If I were Nocturne right there or I was Rumble, I would spam ping like crazy. For a dive. That's what I would have done. <laughs> if Nocturne just stayed around, I would have died right there. Okay, we've got Blade. Very nice. This lane, this lane is officially over, bro. I'm like 4-0 and zero right now. Let's make it back. The best part about this game is that we're just getting started. Because we got Blade right now. What we can do... 
is we can counter like 50% of their entire team because they could rumble AP, they could fizz AP. Astro's like a little bit AP, but it's mostly like just going full AD. Um, they have a crazy amount of AP, so I can just go Wits End or even Maw uh, or, or even Maw for the Magic Resist. Either way, like they're going to struggle, man. They're going to have a bad time. I will be unkillable at some point. They shall not beat me anymore. It's probably gonna be like a wits end like third, I guess. It's very likely to me. I'm not getting in range. Let's push this out. Maybe we can go for a dive. He's got he's got ult. Nice. Solid. Interesting how we still actually get rumble. Like I didn't even try to go for the target. I was just like pushing out the wave, man. Very nice. I don't think Nocturne's going for me right now because I'm like full HP at the moment. Very good. I'm gonna go for more jungle camps, but I think I'm just gonna refuse to do that because I think the Nocturne's on the way. Go back right here. Okay, so the item that we're gonna go for right now is something you may not expect, okay? But we are going for Titanic Hydra this game. So, um... There are two items that people like right now. Uh, as you guys know, like when you play Jack's top lane, people really enjoy going for Trinity. You see this a lot. Everyone goes to Trinity when you play Jax, even as a first item. But a secondary alternative, which I personally really like, is actually Titanic Hydra. Because you can use this as an auto attack reset. So you can go Blade, Titanic Hydra, then you can go Trinity or even go Wit's End. So you can still get both of the items. But the advantage that Titanic Hydra has is that you're building into Tiamat, which dramatically improves your wave clear and how fast you can push. So it's a very different build. You basically delay the Trinity, but for a good reason, you know, for a pretty good reason. Oh, he's got wolves. Right, he's going to die right there. Echo's got a good jump. He's dead. Okay, let's push this out. Very nice. So the objective now is to to get my Titanic Hydra as fast as possible. I'm, I'm happy that I've got the uh, Tiamat now. As you can see, like it's going to improve everything. Makes it like a million times better. I think I might just go for tower because Rumble just spawns right now. Oh, never mind. No idea what that actually means. I have no idea. Fizz walking top. He has a ward. He knows precisely where I'm at. Alright, let's go back here. There you go. Problem solved. We got Mercs right now. If you struggle against champions in general that are AP and they have a lot of CC or whatever, like Mercs is the answer all the time. It's like the number one fix, bro. If you play against these champions, you just buy it. It's the beauty about Jax. You can go steel caps, but also go mercs on the champ. Doesn't really matter. The Drake is currently alive, so we're gonna see if we can play around it. Alistar is up there. Rumble is in top lane. I think I might just want to ignore that stuff. Wait a second. Let me see what happens here. If Rumble decides to continue pushing the way he does. Okay, I'm not going to go top lane. I'll just let the wave go down on itself. Back to mid. No, I figured it was, he was going to do that. That Drake is ours. Pretty good. 
And that's what happens when you rotate. Like, Rumble didn't rotate for the Drake. He instead, like, pushed top lane. So, I stay mid lane and help my team out with the Drake. And we get it for free. An enemy has been slain. Serious? Wow. You, you know that like that almost worked, you know? It almost didn't. <laughs> that bait almost did its thing. Alright. Impressive. We gotta be very careful about a Nocturne ultimate, so I'm just probably just gonna back here. Or we don't, I, it kinda depends. It kinda depends, really. I feel like not wanting to move forward just because I think I might get Nocturne. Alright, I'm gonna go ball in. Yeah, the most important thing is that we don't like feed the gold away. We're actually worth a very big value at the moment. I'm not going to use E because I just don't have to. Nice. The objective now is that we push bot lane as far as possible and then we rotate for the, the, the objective here. Seems like they're all grouped in mid. Let's get you going. We might possibly get like a tier 2 tower just because they're like being grouped. My whole team does die, so... We need to get something back for this. Nice, we got it. And back down the jungle again. Nocturne is still in mid, so we can actually take the cam too. Very good. Okay, that will definitely, uh, that will most certainly help a lot. The blue buff makes a big difference. Uh, I don't think I can get him. Maybe I can. I guess I'm probably gonna. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm pretty much dead. Let's go for Tet and Akatra. Okay, we need to start building items that will help me against our team comp. Uh, and those are those can be two items. We can go into Wit's End, or we can go into this item. I'm thinking of getting this item. Or we just go into Wizard. I think I'm gonna go Wizard, actually. Yeah, we, we've got a lot of magic uses right now because of this item. If... Uh, I don't think that we'll ever struggle against Rumble Fist anymore. We already have, uh, like, the first part of the item. We're already pretty thank you for the... from the Titanic Hydra. Um, that echo could ch uh, chase them down, maybe. Mm, this can't do that much. Serious? I didn't want to press R, bro. I want to keep my ultimate. I regret it, dude. Didn't want to press my ultimate. Whatever. It's just Alistar at the end of the day. That Drake will spawn right now. We can farm it. 
They can't steal it because they don't have a Nocturne. He's backing currently. I hope that we can get it before... Oh, they're going to try and steal it, of course. Never mind. We need to have the kill up here. Wait, there's a rumble in that bush. Good. We got the other Drake. We can buy the Wits End right now. Yeah, I prefer walking away. It's It partially has to do with the fact that we don't have a lot of mana left anymore. It's a better decision to walk away. Because it could maybe turn. Um, let's go for more damage again. We're going to go for Trinity as a fourth item. And then the last item is very much like situational. He can take it if he wants. The main objective is to get a catch. And then we should consider trying to get Baron buff. Like, that's the main objective currently. There's probably more people involved. No idea why the support is in bot lane currently. We need the support up here. are not involved. Should be Baron Call. Killed their whole team. They're dead for like... Okay, they go for Surrender 2 immediately after. Alright, bro. Victory. Hey, either way, this is Jax top lane. Thanks so much for watching today's Jax video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.